I'm going to say something about a lot of people who say that they're Christian. They barely go to church or they don't go to church at all. They don't pray on a daily basis. They don't read their Bible. They don't preach the gospel. And I'm going to say this. A lot of people say that religion, oh, Christian, oh, oh. You know, you know how like the, in, in, in the entertainment industry, a lot of celebrities say they're Christian and stuff. Obviously, a lot of them literally just sell out to the devil for all the fame and money in the world in the first place. Like, bruh, anybody can say that they're Christian. That doesn't make them a Christian. Talk is cheap. All pe People like Kim Kardashian. Uh, Ariana Grande, all these, especially somebody that inspired me to become a singer, Justin Bieber. All right, now I'm gonna say this. Look, he look. I like Justin Bieber, I guess, in, in a way, as artist wise. But him saying he a Christian, but yet he talks, he's sitting there talking about, oh, you can still go out and have fun, bruh. Uh, Bieber, I got news for you. The Bible clearly says, whosoever is a friend of the world is an enemy of God. Period. I don't care what you say. That's not of God. That's a that's, that's what a lukewarm Christian would. A lukewarm, lukewarm Christian would say. All this stuff going on in the world today. People sitting there talking about, oh, act like there's nothing going on. Yes, there is. Like, what is wrong with people? Are people really this dumb or just lost in the head? People are really ignorant enough to say that the world is perfectly fine. No, it is not. And I'm going to say this. A lot of people would also say that uh, because of the science in the world. It's not basically the, just just only the science in the world, though, but it just shows that how many people are leaving God, how many people are are uh, leaving the faith, departing from God, turning away from the faith. Because when you're actually a true Christian, you actually go through a lot of stuff. And when people say when they're Christian and be like, oh, this is not what I signed up for. And then they get sick of it. And then they, they stop being a Christian. They start leaving, turn, uh, departing from God because they didn't know their life was going to turn out this way. This is something that they don't tell you in these churches. They think, oh, as a Christian, you're going to have a great life. You, everything's going to be all right. Everything is going to be fa fant spectacular. No, I'm sorry to tell you that's not true. And I'm going to say this. It has nothing to do with you at all. It has to do with Jesus. Remember, the Bible clearly states that the world would hate you because of Jesus. You know, it's kind of funny that a lot of scientists will also say, well, we'll look at a, a fossil or a rock and then determine it's three, 300 million years old. How do you know dinosaurs lived that long anyway? Like, how do you know for sure? You, I can say the same. I can ask the same thing about the Big Bang Theory. That's why it's called a Big Bang Theory. So many people need to stop being ignorant and wake up. If you're a true child of God, if you really want to commit yourself to Jesus Christ, understand what comes with it. If you love God more than your husband, boyfriend, sister, brother, girlfriend, boyfriend, than anything, and put God before everything and anything, especially put down your own life, God says you will be his disciple. But a lot of people don't want to give anything up. And that's the problem with new Christians today.